In 1962, M.C. Chirac was born in Wilmington, North Carolina as Sharon Green. In 1969, her family decided to move to New York City in search of a different type of environment. At the time, Wilmington was going through a lot of racial divide as a city battle integration in the South. When they first arrived in New York, Sharon's family of seven shared a one bedroom apartment in Harlem. They eventually relocated to the Bronx, hoping for better conditions. But as a popular phrase at the time describes, the Bronx was burning. In an article for ABC News, Dina Zaru writes, at the time, the underserved working class neighborhood was ignored by politicians and grappling with economic collapse. And amid the poverty, gang activity and drug trafficking were rampant. Property values plummeted so steeply that landlords began burning down their own buildings to collect the insurance money, and many residents were killed in the fires. Young people would often use music and dancing to cope with these conditions, and Sharon was no different. She loved music, and her parents would often fill their home with many different genres, including jazz, R&B, and country. Sharon loved watching performances and seeing how the artists would interact with the crowds. In the late 1970s, she began to attend block parties hosted by DJ Cool Herc and started her career as a beat girl or break dancer. As a beat girl, Sharon would dance as well as helping set up the parties and promoting the performers. Growing up, her mom would encourage Sharon and her siblings to get involved in the arts. She even signed Sharon up for a slam poetry recital, which helped her build her talent as a lyricist. In 1977, Sharon came across a flyer at her high school. A new group was forming called the Brothers Disco, which would eventually go on to become the Funky Four plus one more, and they were looking for an MC. Sharon practiced her rhymes and taking notes from the artists she already loved and admired, she really focused on her delivery, cadence, and involvement with the crowd. She was chosen as an MC and would go on to make history as the first female MC part of an all-male group. MC Shah Rock would say that, at the time, since hip-hop was so new and they were fighting for respect as artists and trying to build popularity, she didn't face a lot of misogyny or sexism. The Funky 4 Plus One More consisted of DJ Breakout, KK Rockwell, Jazzy Jeff, Keith Keith, Lil Rodney C, and of course, MC Shah Rock. In 1979, they signed a record deal with Enjoy Records, becoming the first hip-hop group to have a record deal. They released their first single on this label, Rappin' and Rockin' the House. They became unhappy with the label, though, and decided to join Sugar Hill Records, dropping their second single, That's the Joint. Both of these singles will go on to be featured on national television. The group would often hang out and perform at punk music clubs and got introduced to Debbie Harry of the band Blondie. On February 14th, 1981, Valentine's Day, Debbie Harry hosted Saturday Night Live and invited the Funky Four Plus One More to perform. This made them the first hip hop group to perform on national television. The Funky Four Plus One More sadly split in the early 80s and Shah Rock went on to perform alongside legendary female rappers Lisa Lee and Debbie D as the Us Girls in the 1984 film Beat Street, directed by Harry Belafonte. In August of 2009, Shah Rock was awarded the Women in Hip Hop All-Female Rapathon and All-Pioneer Luminary MC Award by the Hip Hop Cultural Center of Harlem. In 2010, she published a memoir titled the story of the beginning and end of the first hip-hop female MC, luminary icon Shah Rock. She has also received the honorary award from the Council of the City of New York and is chairperson of the Universal Hip Hop Museum Women's Committee. Her single, That's the Joint with the group The Funky Four Plus One More, was named one of the greatest 50 hip-hop songs of all time, as well as one of the 500 best songs of all time by Rolling Stone. In the 2004 documentary, And You Don't Stop, 30 Years of Hip-Hop, MCA of the BC Boys mentions Shah Rock as one of the best MCs ever, male or female. She was there during the early days of hip-hop and rap music and helped usher in a new wave of expression for inner-city youth. 
from breakdancing as a b-girl to being one of the first female rappers ever on tape shot rock has definitely earned her title as luminary icon thank you guys so much for tuning in today and thank you for tuning into my last video if you don't know me my name is kiara but i go by keisha ray online and i enjoy making content about black history pop culture and a lot of other fun stuff so if you would like to see more content like this in the future consider hitting that subscribe button i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did feel free to leave a like again thank you all for watching and i hope you have a good one Bye.